This is a Zoototal production. All right, uh, surveyors, here's our third practice for chapter three. Um, this one kind of adds to what we did in the previous practice video. Um, so this one where we're given pretty much the exact same atoms or ions in the previous practice video, but now we're actually looking at what we call their noble gas electron configuration. Right, um, and this is related to the the quantum um, mechanics that's that's talked about a little bit in chapter three, um, where we talk about you know s, p, d, f orbitals, um, and then the different shells. So, what we're really looking at here, um, one way we can do this, we don't necessarily have to just calculate the number of valence electrons, right? We did in the previous one. But you don't necessarily have to, and that's what I'm going to kind of show you. It, they're related, but you don't necessarily have to figure that out. All right, so firstly, you know, I told you this is your first shell, your second shell, your third, and your fourth, right? Except for these right here, these uh, transition metals. These are actually uh, the three, this is the, this is the D block, but it's also, this is the third row of the D block. This is considered the third shell. So anyway, but when we look, these two right here are the S shell, and then these six, like from numbers, what I have numbers three to eight, this is considered the P block, all right? So then this right here, boop, boop, right? So the, all from this column to this column, this is considered the D block. All right, now, if we look at sodium real quick, right, here it is on the periodic table. It's in the third row, all right? So its valence shell is 3S, okay? So its valence shell is 3S. And specifically, you're only in the first column of the S. So there's only one electron in there, all right? Now, what we see happening from here is it asks for the noble electron configuration well the thing is all I've given you is the valence shell so what's all the stuff before 3s right well since it's the noble gas all I have to do is look at the noble gas that happened before it so this is 11 and if you look at 10 you're at neon and that is in the noble gas column so all I'd have to do is put neon in brackets here and then put 3s1 that's the noble gas electron configuration Okay, and that's it. Now, if we look at sodium plus, it lost an electron. So, and it has to lose its valence electron. So that means it lost that. So its valence shell just becomes neon. And depending on who you're asking, they don't like for you to just put neon in brackets. So what they may do is say, well, give me the noble gas configuration for neon instead. So an equivalent way of writing this would have been um, you know, what's the noble gas before neon? It was helium. All right? And so the outer shell of neon here is this second row where you have the 2s and then you also have the 2p. And specifically, right, you had to go 1, 2. So there's two 2s electrons and then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 2p electrons. So that would be, so either one of these I would consider correct. It really just depends on who you're talking to and what they prefer. But I'm trying to give you both of them for it. Now, with sodium minus, you started at sodium, but it added an additional electron here, right? And so if you notice, when you add an additional electron here, you would just be in the second column of the S block. So for it, its noble gas configuration would be neon 3S2, like so. That's a yeah, it'd be neon 3s2, okay, because it gained an electron from the original sodium. All right, next up we have fluoride 2 plus, fluoride and fluoride, fluorine 2 plus, fluorine and fluorine minus. So let's just look at neutral fluorine first. Here it's in the second row. So its valence shell has 2s and 2p electrons. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 2s and I'm going to put the 2p. Now, it, the noble gas that happens before it is helium. So in front of that, I'm going to write helium. Okay. Now, so we've got helium as our core, and our valence shell is 2s, 1, 2. There's two of those. 
And if we keep counting, we hit the P block. And then there's one, two, three, four, five P electrons. So that's what we got. It's, oh, I, y'all, I totally did that wrong. I'm sorry. I put it in the wrong spot. Helium 2S2 2P5. Okay. Sorry. Now, since I went ahead, since I screwed up and I did it in the wrong line, let me show you the F2 minus. So what happened with, uh, sorry, F2 plus. What happened with the F2 plus? It lost two electrons, right, to become positive. So it went one, two. So it still had the helium and the 2S2, but it no longer has five electrons. It has two less. So it's got three of the 2P electrons, okay? With F minus, it's going to be similar, right? You're still going to start with the helium. You're going to have some 2s electrons and some 2p electrons. But now, when you go to F minus, what happens? You gain an additional electron and you look like neon. So, you should have two of the 2s electrons, right? Because you're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And then that means you should have six of the P electrons. So this is one way you could write the noble gas configuration, or you become neon. So you could you could write that as well. I consider both of those correct. I do, I do. And what do you notice also? Fluoride ion, F minus, has the exact same electron configuration as in a plus. Interesting. Anyway. Um Next up, we have our nitrogens. All right, so when we look at nitrogen, here it is in the second row again. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So it has five valence electrons. And the noble gas before it, that happens before it on the periodic table, is helium. So all of these should start with possibly helium. So I'm just going to take a stab in the dark and write heliums here. Okay, now when I look at just regular old nitrogen, I should have 2s and 2p electrons. 2s, 2p. Now when I when I start, I have 1, 2, and I fill up the s block. So then on the third one, I get to boron. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 2p electrons. Now what happens with the plus? It lost an electron, right? Specifically meaning it looks like it goes to carbon. So now, instead of having five valence electrons, it has four. So it should be 2s, 2p, and it should be 1, 2, so 2 in the 2s, and then 3, 4, so two of them, so 1, 2 in the 2p. All right? So if you add these up, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's four valence electrons, which Na plus has. You add these up, 3 plus 2, that's five valence electrons, which regular old nitrogen has, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if we go to N3 minus, what happens? It gains one, two, three electrons. So it now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total valence electrons. So for the 2S and the 2P, we should have one, two, two in the 2S, and then we have six left, which would go in the 2P. Okay? And that gives us six plus two, that's eight. Now, N3 minus, what does it, uh, another way you could have written this is very similar to neon as well, right? Because it has the same uh, electron configuration as the neon noble gas. Next up we have our sulfurs. All right, uh, so for, let's start with neutral sulfur. So here we have, so oh, we finally entered a different row. So here we're in the third row now. So let's look, what happens before it the noble gas before it is neon so I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and just say maybe all of them have neon here maybe they don't but let's hope they do all right so then if I look at the neutral sulfur mm -hmm. I have one two three four five six total valence electrons specifically I have I'm in the third row so this is 3s now so I have 3s and I've got two of those then I still have more electrons to put in, so I start. I go to the 3P, and I should have one, two, three, four of those. And that gives me four plus two, six valence electrons. Now, when I hit two minus here, that means it gained two additional electrons. So it looks like argon. And so it should still be 3S2, 
but now it's going to be 3p6. Now, with that, right, it looks like argon's electron configuration. So if you wrote argon in brackets, technically that's correct as well, okay, because um, it looks like the noble gas. Uh, S2 minus. So we start at sulfur, and that means S2 plus. I'm sorry, S2 plus. That means we start at sulfur, and we lose one, two electrons. So now I should ha I should still have the 3s2, but I only have two of these 3p electrons. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and that does give me four. Right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Next up, we have neon. Now, I'm not just going to write neon in brackets. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, what's the noble gas before it? It's helium. All right, and then so then we hit the second row here. So it would be 2s2, all right, 1, 2, and then we hit the P block, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have six of those P electrons. All right, so. I mean, technically, yeah, you could just put neon in brackets because you're saying, hey, it's a noble gas, so it's got eight valence electrons, but uh, I feel like this is a little more of the practice side of things. All right, so anyway, so from there, um, hopefully this gives you uh, enough practice that you feel comfortable with it. All right, well, until next time, adios, surveyors.